I am answering all of your Dermarola questions, top tips, tricks, and things that I wish I knew before I started Dermarolling. All of that is coming up. Hello, my name's Iman. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I suffer from hair loss. I've been suffering from it for quite some time over the past few years. It's really improved using scientifically effective natural methods. Now, the derma roller is one of my key, key factors into helping me grow back my hair. So I'm gonna be talking through top tips, tricks, and lots of questions that I get on my comments. So I wanted to make a video so you guys have it all in one place. So let's just get right in it. First up is clean what I would say is you want to make sure you disinfect before and after use. I use a soft bristle brush and antibacterial hand wash to get in between the different needles, get rid of those dead skin cells, blah, blah, blah. and I find that's the best way to clean the derma roller. I get this a lot, do you need to wash your hair? I personally don't wash my hair before I derma roller, but that's because I don't use any hair products. So if you use hair products, the answer is no, you need to wash your hair. Make sure that there's nothing on your scalp that could could then penetrate into your bloodstream. You do not want any chemicals, anything like that getting into your body like mm, 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 girl. Ideally your scalp should be clean like if you have dandruff or there's a lot of skin scalp buildup then yeah wash your hair before derma rolling. That's my advice. How often should you replace it? Well that depends on the needles. If they get blunt it's time to replace it. I normally say three to six months. My timeline normally is four to six months and it depends on the quality of your needles. If you get titanium needles they'll last a lot longer and they are much better from a cleanliness perspective. What's the length you should be using? I recommend 1.5 millimeter needle length. You can use other needle lengths. As I mentioned in my other video, you want a longer needle length to get to the dermis, which is just below the upper epidermis where the hair follicle bulb is. That's gonna increase growth factors. You can use lower needle lengths. Lower needle lengths are just gonna increase the effectiveness of any topical treatments that you use. So you've got your derma roller, what do you do with it? You obviously part your hair and roll in each section of the scalp. 10 times on each section, all directions, that's horizontal, vertical, diagonal, both way. Moderate pressure, you want the scalp to go red. Blood spots are also fine, but you don't want to be profusely bleeding. Am I bleeding? Is it bleeding? Don't I'm go not. anywhere. How are you coming first? Now I get this a lot. What I want to flag to you is that you will get dry flaky skin on the scalp which I get. I recommend after two to three days after you've derma rolled or as soon as your scalp has healed visibly is to exfoliate, gently exfoliate the scalp because you are gonna get a lot of flaky skin, a lot of dandruff. I don't really see it's dandruff, scalp renewing, the cells renewing and that's a good thing because you're gonna get new fresh scalp skin. It's gonna be new, it's gonna be good. So exfoliate gently, I use coffee granules. I also use to exfoliate a soft ball brush and this I just run over my scalp every day gently just to exfoliate the scalp and make sure that it's renewing properly. You want to pave the way for better hair growth to stimulate hair growth so this is a good extra tool for you guys. Definitely get this. I also have a scalp massager when I shampoo. This helps to lift dead skin cells off my scalp. It's really really important to nourish the scalp as well and basically moisturize it. So using hair oil using the hair elixir that I'm going to be launching soon. So sign up in the link if you're interested. Oils like uh, jojoba, argan oil, avocado oil, nourishing oils to help stimulate hair growth but also to moisturize the scalp. So what type of derma roller do you need? You need to get the ones with the real ne needles, not the ones that are the wheels. I used to have a fake derma roller. When I discovered that the w they actually just use wheels, I was shocked. Everything that I link in my videos and that I recommend recommend our real needles. My favorite, favorite brand is Koi Beauty. They are the best brand in terms of getting real needles into your derma roller. But you can basically tell because the ones that are real, you can actually see the needles in the derma roller. Okay guys, how do you store the derma roller? You wanna make sure that it's in a safe place, it's not gonna be knocked about. So keep it safe, keep it away from everything and make sure 
you're not just putting it in your drawer with all the other knickknacks you've got in there. Right, so when to put the oil in your hair after you have dermarolid. With 0.5 millimeter, you can put the oil in straight away. Because of the 1.5 and how it works, it goes lower to the dermis. I would wait at least a few hours before putting the oil. If you are quite sensitive, do a patch test and wait 24 hours before putting the hair growth elixir, which is obviously your essential oils mixed in with a base or carrier oil never never put essential oil on yourself straight because boy I don't want to be sued so breakdown guys summary of my wash days and how it works and then incorporate it with my derma roller once a week derma rollering then a few hours on the next day put the oil in my hair and I leave it in overnight I sometimes leave it in for two days because we're in lockdown and there's nowhere to go but normally I would probably just wash it out in the morning then I like to do the oiling of my hair every other day if you can that is the best or every day if you can in terms of washing that is really up to you there's a myth that says the more you wash your hair the more hair loss can cause I don't agree with that I think if you're using a sulfate free shampoo a gentle shampoo then you should be fine and also you're replenishing your hair by putting the oils in your scalp and in your hair exfoliate also once a week uh, two to three days after and then I also in conjunction use the soft bristle brush to get rid of any of the other excess things and scalp massages scalp massages at least every other day if you can so guys i thought that would be quick pretty concise pretty quick any other questions anything that i haven't answered make sure to drop me a comment and i will answer it or make another video on it but thank you guys so much for watching if you are enjoying this content please like this video it helps me so much as a small youtuber so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.